What's up, guys? Fatmir49 here with you. Okay. Uh, uh let's um, recap a bit, shall we? No, I'm this not gonna be doing a full be straight on this video. It's literally just for background. Perfect. Uh, oh my god. Please, no, I do not care about this cutscene. It's every a good cutscene, but not the time or the place. This is going to be the cheapest video I've ever done in my life. Literally. So we're going to drop that volume all the way down. Could you please turn that down? Anyways, um, so what I'm going to be going over today is the one thing I love and hate. God, what is that FOV? One thing I love and hate about every Call of Duty zombies. Now, um, yes, we are going to, um, yes, we are going to be going over every Call of Duty zombie, starting with World of War all the way to Modern Warfare 3. We are going to be omitting the, um, we are going to be omitting the Nintendo version, so, uh, Black Ops 1 on the Wii, and Black Ops Declassified on the, um, on your uh, Nintendo 3DS. So we're gonna be omitting those. Um, I am not gonna be including the mobile versions either because I feel like it'd be too much of a hassle. So like, really just for real, I don't even care at this point. Um, so starting off with World at War Zombies. One thing I love about it, really everything. <laughs> The maps was just amazing. It, for the start of the zombies, it, it was amazing. The maps were so aesthetically cool. It was creepy. Uh, and it, it was just a really fun experience altogether. Um, and when they started bringing in the story and everything, that's what made it all the more fun. Um, one thing I hated about it um, was... Um, Really, one thing I hated about it was just the, um, motherfucking, uh, damn it, what was it called? It, uh, other than the fact that Quick Revive didn't revive you, like, what you see now is what we got for Quick Revive now. Literally the best thing ever. Um, but what I hated about it was when these zombies would, um, attack you, they would suck you in. Like, not suck you in, but, like, they would, like, when they grab you, like when they hit you like this, they would pull me. They would pull you in to attack you, and so that's one of the things we can put up with, which is so fucking aggravating. But um, yeah. So we had to put up with that, but also we had to um, we also had to deal with um, uh, double tap 1.0, which we had to deal with for a while. And it just, sometimes it felt wrong, but everything about it was just so aesthetically cool. And you really can't hate on the game for anything. Absolutely nothing. For a 2008 game, it was fucking amazing. That's all I can say about it. Um, moving on to Black Ops 1. What I loved about it, same as uh, World at War, the maps. The maps we got were just so fucking clean. And we had to, um, like, and then we got, uh, the Easter eggs, so, like, even just the simplest, like, in World of War, you had the music Easter eggs, like, in the Outer Totem, where you could shoot the radio, Black Ops 1, we got Kino, where you could go interact with the rocks and you could get the 115 song, uh, on, um, Ascension, we got the, uh, way we could blow up the rocket, we, and also we got a new person on this PhD, uh, Flopper. And the fact that Black Ops 1 fixed the problem with Quick Revive, so uh, for solo players, it would act as a self-revive. What I hated about the game, um, well, for starters, Double Tap 1. We still had Double Tap 1, which uh, just increased your fire rates, and that was it. It just increased your fire rate, so you, more of your ammo was just wasted. Um, However, again, the maps were aesthetically cool. So in, we got Call of the Dead for some uh, DLC maps. We got, what was that other DLC map that we got? I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking remember. That's the only one I remember because I wasn't a big fan of all the other DLC maps. 
Anyways, moving on. Black Ops. What I loved about it. Uh, the storyline was just actually kind of fun. Um, the um, we had some really cool guns, and they fixed double tap. So in Black Ops Two, what we got was this right here. Literally, this right here, double tap 2.0, would not only increase your fire rate, but would also increase the damage that your weapon output. So therefore, those three shots that I just fired would count as six shots. It would do the damage, it would do double the damage. So, we got that. Oh god, this is not fun. Um, what I hated about it though, was honestly the maps. The launch maps were just fucking horrible. And for those transit lovers, I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Yes, it was cool. I loved it. But it, it could have been better. There was no cool story to it at all. Not like when we had Mob of the Dead and um, Origins right here that would continue the original story. The Vic story was cool. I don't remember what the fuck was going on in Call of the Dead, but that shit was fine. Mob was perfect. I don't even understand what the fuck was going on in Die Rise. Die Rise was really just ass. It wasn't cool. I mean, it was kind of cool. It just wasn't fun. Die Rise was not fun at all whatsoever. I don't care what anybody says. It was not fun. Not like Mob and Origins. Anyways. Enough of me blabbing about that. Moving on. Black Ops 3. What I loved about it, literally every goddamn thing. The perks, we got Widow's Wine, the maps, the continuation of the story. Like, look at this. Look at the fucking Revelations map. Like, this shit is so clean. Like, and I wish, and I see that people got motherfucking, um, people have made a zombie. Zombie Chronicles 2 type deal where it's kind of, it's an outbreak thing and it is so fun. But what I don't like about Black Ops 3, the guns, they don't feel right. Like this KM44 is supposed to be like the AK, but none of the guns felt right. They just didn't. It, it really didn't. But other than that, overall, my personal favorite when it comes to zombies. Uh, anyways, moving on. Also, I am not doing this in actual order of when the game came out. I'm going based on franchise. So, anyways, moving on. Black Ops 4. What I love about it is how they took some of our favorite maps and remade them even better than before. Just really good maps. So, we got Tiger Toad, really fucking fun. We got a remake of Mob of the Dead, known as Blood, and that was just so fun because it extended the map. It was just amazing. Everything. What I didn't like about it was the perk system. The perk system just didn't make any sense. It just kind of felt wrong, honestly. Like, everything about it just felt so wrong on so many levels. And, like, I didn't know what to do. Like, everything we had going on. But, yeah, the perk system just, like I said, it didn't make any fucking sense. But anyways, moving on. Black Ops Cold War. The fifth game in the Black Ops series. Of course, we have not gotten uh, Gulf War yet, which is supposed to be the continuation of Cold War. We have not had it yet, but we will be getting it soon. Uh, that is coming out later this year. But Cold War, what I loved about it. The maps, they were really cool. Um, what I didn't like about it. Was, it, the perk system was my fucking favorite thing about it. Like, the fact that we could upgrade our perks, even though it was a pain in my fucking ass. It was just a bad pain. But, what I loved about it, that's what I loved about it, but what I hate about it, is just the fact that, um, uh, like, the maps were just kind of meh. The game of, like, we got three round-based maps. Marta Toten, Forsaken, and... D machine, die machine, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Martyr Totem was its own thing. Uh, die machine was just a thing for knots. Um, and for um, 
Forsaken was just really something in itself. Forsaken was just interesting because it was like a fast paced round base. Like it wasn't actual rounds, like the rounds would possibly change like every three minutes. Or every two minutes on its own. But um yeah. And then we got um uh Outbreak, which is just open world zombies, which isn't really the, that fun. Uh and we got um goddamn uh what was that fucking mode called? Anybody remember? Um, fuck. Uh, uh, Onslaught. Where basically it would repurpose the multiplayer maps. They repurposed the multiplayer maps. And made them better. So like, we could have ground based zombies on multiplayer maps and it was really fun. But then, uh, yeah, moving on. So now we're going to go on with, um, oh, even better, even better. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not even going to say something. Uh, the next thing we got was Advanced Warfare. So we're backing up to before Black Ops 3 was released. We got Advanced Warfare. What I thought was cool about it was just movement. We had some really fun Easter eggs. It was fun. What I didn't really like about it though was just the guns and like it didn't feel right. Every everything about it just didn't feel right. Like the guns were the pack punch system. Like I could pack and punch my gun. I could pack and punch my gun 16 times to get a freaking just to get the right scope. Like bro, what? And they didn't even last that long. The infected rounds were just a pain in my ass. Uh, forgive me for my background audio. I don't know what the fuck's going on over there with these people. But, um, we got freaking, what the fuck's it called? Honestly, I can't even talk about it. I, I don't, I don't like the game. I, I'm sorry for those who, I, I prefer the game for multiplayer and that's it. The zombies was just meh. The guns were fun, but the game itself just wasn't really, it didn't, it didn't appeal to me. Next on the list. I forgot completely about it until now. Call of Duty Ghosts. Cod Ghosts, it wasn't even zombies. We were fighting. God, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We had to fight goddamn uh, aliens. We were fighting aliens at this point. And I don't understand. Like, why? Why? Why do we need to fight aliens? Why? And it didn't even feel like zombies. It felt like a Spec Ops thing. Which is why I really, really didn't want to include it. I don't understand. Like, why? It's just, just why? Other than that, just COD Ghosts, W fucking game. I don't care what anybody says. COD Ghosts was a W game. Uh, but yeah, moving on. World War II. Yeah. What was cool about it, what I love about it, is just the maps, the aesthetic vibe. It kind of brought back the creepiness of from zombies. It, it brought back what we thought was... We, it, it gave you that horror vibe that kind of comes with zombies. And it, it just, it was so beautiful, the maps, the story, the plot, as fucking gory as it was. But didn't like about it was just really the guns, and the, the person system was fine, but like the guns just kind of felt weird. Like, it just kind of felt wrong, everything that you had to do in the game. But, um, yeah. And then, and we just had a uh, fucking. Hold up. Anyways, uh, but it just the guns just didn't feel right. I mean, the guns were really fun, but it's it's not that they didn't feel wrong. What well, the guns were amazing, but it's like we didn't have that big of a variety of guns. I feel like they weren't really trying with like the actual weapons as much as they we're trying with um everything else. But um we also got um Yeah. We're gonna move on because I do not feel like staying on this topic for long. Um Vanguard zombies. Vanguard zombies. 
it was it was kind of cool like how they remade Shino Numa and stuff. It was kind of clean and all that. I love how they made it really creepy, but like there's I can't say anything about the game because the game is just fucking ass. Like, the game is low key ass. So I can't say anything. Uh, moving on to MW3 Zombies. It's in the name. Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare was not, I repeat, was not supposed to be Zombies. It was not supposed to be this. this it, it, it fucking ruined the game with that shit. But, um, what we can move on to is, um, just, it's really cool, like, the perks, like, the, the uh, like, it's fun to be able to do that. It's kind of like Outbreak, but a little bit better, but, then again, it's not, because, um, we didn't, it, it was. It's not even made like it was supposed to be. I can't. I can't, I can't say anything about me liking the game really because, honestly, they ruined the game. Like, if you watch the what the game was originally supposed to look like, it's not even what it was supposed to look like. They didn't even make it like they were planning on making it. And that's all I'm gonna say about it because I, I fucking hate it. I really do. But um, honestly, yeah. Like, I get that they were trying to do something cool, but the fact that they could come up with anything better, but then throw us on the same old fucking Warzone map that no one really enjoyed. Like, I don't know anybody who actually enjoyed Jersey Sand, for real. Like, it sucked as a goddamn uh, resurgence map. Like, it was clean as a, as a battle royale map. Like, that was okay. But still. I fucking hate it. I really do. But, um, uh, honestly, that's really all for all the COD Zombies games. One thing I love and hate about everything. Moving on to just, let's go ahead and just give an honorable mention to a VR COD Zombies game made by Contractors. I think that's what it was called. I can't remember the name. But, um, basically, we got, um, what we got was, um, a fucking, what you call it, just a really good, um, uh, like, VR zombies experience, and then just, then we got fucking Skirt Ritual, which is just fucking amazing, and that's not even Cod Zombies, but that is definitely gonna be, like, the end of Cod Zombies, Cod Zombies is over for, that is literally the, that is it for Cod Zombies, Cod Zombies is done for because of that. But yeah, pretty much with that being said, that's literally everything. But yeah, so that's one thing I love and hate about every COD Zombies. And again, omitting the um, the mobile and the Nintendo versions of the games. So yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, it was something else I was planning on saying, but I completely forgot about it. But yeah. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.